number 21 is called catch reverts. It's our last step in this. Duration is three to five throws. So on each catch, look the disc all the way into your hands and pause until your eyes refocus on the disc, usually on some specific detail like the flight rings or part of the printed logo. Don't move to throw until you have completely refocused. Ben says it takes one to two seconds. The goal here is to remind your body by overemphasis over that it needs to watch the disc as far into your hands as possible. In reality, the optimum is probably to look the disc almost all the way into your hands and it will actually leave your vision for the last foot or two. During a season, you'll gradually start to lose disc vision farther and farther from your body just by natural familiarization with so many throws and catches and this helps reset to a better catching state. Okay, so for this, all we're going to be doing when I throw to Steve, we're going to be catching it and watching it the whole way. Okay, normally when we catch, we're sort of, right, we're almost, it's coming in and we're kind of catching it quickly looking at it, but we're not refocusing on the disc normally. Okay, this helps with making sure we catch it. Too many times you'll see someone go to throw, or sorry, go to catch, but they're trying to throw first. So it's like they're trying to throw and then they haven't even got the disc in their hand. So by doing this, we catch it, we look at it, and then we can throw it. That one's not bad, it calms you down a little bit. It's a good way to end it.